So my name is Jared Hyman, and I am the founder of CrowdMed. And our mission is to harness the wisdom of crowds to solve the world's most difficult medical cases. And my inspiration to start CrowdMed was actually my little sister, Carly. So at the age of 18, without any warning or apparent cause, uh, she fell into a deep depression. And uh, she had to drop out of college. She would sleep 14 hours a night. Um, she was too fatigued to do anything when she was awake but watch TV. And this came on very suddenly and without any warning. And uh, it was a medical mystery. No one could figure out what was causing these strange symptoms. It got so bad that eventually suicidal thoughts entered her mind. And over the next, seven, over the next several years, my parents brought Carly to over 16 different doctors incurred over $100,000 in medical expenses, and you're desperately seeking a diagnosis, but nobody could figure out what was going on. And we later discover that the root cause of her illness is a rare disease that affects just one in 15,000 females. So of course, most of her doctors had never heard of this before, and much less seen it. But having spent years at my company, at my previous company, studying a phenomena called the wisdom of crowds, I knew something that most people did not or do not, which is that large and intellectually diverse crowds of people are often much smarter than even the smartest individual experts in the world, including doctors, as long as there's the right mechanism in place to aggregate their collective intelligence. So I therefore created an early prototype of what eventually became CrowdMed. And using even a simple version of our technology, in just a few days, 100 people came up with her correct diagnosis in just a few days. And that's what inspired me to devote myself full time to founding this company. So now, nearly two years later, the product that Carly ins helped inspire has helped solve hundreds of difficult medical cases for patients like her. And I'll kind of let our success statistics uh, speak for themselves. So far, we've resolved over 600 real world cases on the CrowdMed site. Our average patient had been sick for eight years, they'd already seen eight doctors. And they and their insurer, or payer, had already incurred over $60,000 in medical expenses to date, on average. And despite the difficulty of these cases, more than 60% of these patients tell us that CrowdMed successfully brought them closer to either a correct diagnosis or cure. And at an average cost of under $200 in less than two months, and using an average of 16 volunteer case solvers from around the world. So to say it differently, this crowdsourcing approach provides two times as many medical expert opinions, about 300 times less expensively, and 50 times more quickly than the traditional medical system had to date, helping to solve a majority of cases that the medical system had not. In fact, these results are so, are so compelling that a group of medical researchers from Stanford and Baylor are working right now on an article uh, about our success statistics uh, which will soon be submitted uh, for review by a major uh, medical publication. And of course, although these success statistics and ROI statistics are great, what's even more amazing is the hundreds of notes of thanks that we've been collecting from patients, uh, with more coming in every week. So these are just a small sample. And a lot of these will bring tears to your eyes. Uh, we're truly saving and improving lives every day. And uh, in fact, we had one patient just, uh, just last week told us he wanted to invest his life, life savings in the company uh, because he so believed in our mission and the value we were providing to patients like him. So let's talk a little bit about how, Crowd, how CrowdMed works for, for these patients. So patients start by completing an online patient questionnaire, and they upload relevant medical records, images, and test results. And we use this information to automatically generate their case on our site. Once it goes live, we have a patented prediction market technology, which comes into play uh, for collecting and filtering diagnostic and solution suggestions from case solvers from around the world. And our system includes a sophisticated point betting system and various community moderation uh, features to really uh, identify and remove bad suggestions while making sure that the good suggestions rise to the top. And while our technology is determine prob probability estimates for each of these uh, suggestions, our case solvers, who we call medical detectives, meanwhile can ask questions to the patient uh, to collect more detail about their symptoms or, or medical history. Um, they can, uh, we have a discussion board feature 
where they can discuss potential diagnoses uh, with each other and with the patient and really debate why each one might be right or wrong. So basically on our site, nothing happens behind closed doors and the patient is very much in charge of the process. Uh, patient empowerment is something that, uh, like 23andMe, we, we believe in very strongly. So after an, after an average of 60 days on the site, a case comes down and the patient gets a PDF report of their findings, which they can then take to their physician to discuss. So that's essentially our process. So a question I'm commonly asked is, who are these people that we're helping? So the one thing they have in common is how different they are from one another. Uh, besides a one disease, a Lyme disease, no single diagnosis is more than 2% of our total. And 95% of our diagnoses have come up only once or twice in the entire history of the site. So we're really very good at identifying and helping people with very rare and difficult to diagnose conditions. In terms of age, our patients cover the, ga the gamut from newborn babies to 99-year-olds. Uh, they tend towards either uh, younger people with probably genetic diseases or perhaps baby boomers who have been suffering for many years with some kind of unsolved medical mystery. And they skew a slightly female. So we're a two-sided marketplace and attracting and motivating medical detectives or case solvers is just as important to us as, as patients. So let's talk a little bit about who our medical detectives are and how we motivate them. So we now have over 15,000 uh, registered medical detectives on the site, about 2,000 of which have logged in in the last 90 days, and about 500 that are, are actively solving cases on the site. About two-thirds of them work in or study medicine. And these are, these are often doctors, but not necessarily. Uh, they often include med students, uh, nurses, medical researchers, scientists. We have allied health professionals, chiropractors, acupuncturists. We really believe in having a intellectually diverse and varied crowd, which seems to do a much better job that, of solving these cases than a, a more homogenous group might. Uh, they come from over 25 different countries, and uh, about a quarter of them, in fact, are outside of the US, and that's without us doing any international marketing at all. In terms of how we, uh, how we motivate them, uh, we developed, I'm sorry, can you go back? Uh, we developed a performance-based rather than credential-based system. And what we found is uh, using this combination between cash and non-cash-based incentives, we can really motivate these people to spend more time on the site than their earnings per hour could possibly justify. In terms of that time, uh, the average medical detective, or the average active medical detective, spends over 11 hours a month solving cases on our site which is actually higher usage than any other social network online, uh, which is especially impressive considering that these are mostly highly paid uh, people with uh, lots of important things to do with their time. And while you might assume that patients would be most, most enthusiastic about us, uh, it turns out the medical detectives are even more so. So 94% of them say they would be very or somewhat disappointed if we no longer existed. 86% extremely or very likely to recommend us to their peers which are actually higher uh, customer loyalty scores than Apple or Google or Nordstrom. So back to how we motivate them. Uh, we found this combination of intrinsic and extrinsic incentives really works well. And our incentive structure is as much a part of our secret sauce as our technology. So on the extrinsic side, uh, patients can offer a cash reward that's divided amongst the people who do the best job solving their case. And we have some detectives who have earned thousands of dollars solving cases on the site, but really they don't do it for the money because the average detective makes about $35 a month, uh, certainly not anything to, uh, to write home about. We found it's really the non-cash rewards that really keep our medical detectives engaged and coming back. So for example, we have a point reward system uh, in a leaderboard to recognize the top medical detectives. Turns out uh, medical people are very competitive types and that seems to work pretty well. Um, we also offer skills development, learning from peers, intellectual challenge, and altruism. And in fact, the altruism seems to be what detectives tell us really is what motivates them. So in, at CrowdMed, they can do exactly what they got into medicine to do in the first place, which is help people in, in a very pure way. They don't have to worry about insurance reimbursements or patient throughput rates or malpractice suits. It's just them at their, at their leisure helping patients. So 
In conclusion, we're, we're very proud of the hundreds of people who we've helped so far on the site, but we're really just getting started. And we won't be happy until we've made crowdsourced medical answers as common as uh, searching for medical answers on Google or WebMD. And we believe it has that potential because it's far more convenient than uh, online self-diagnosis, uh, much more effective, as you've seen, and also pretty inexpensive. So uh, we think we can help millions of people around the world and hope to do that in the coming years. So thank you.